GraphDB's built-in graph search algorithms. The Sparkle query language, like the SQL query language, lets you specify patterns of data relationships so that you can retrieve data that fits those patterns. Simple patterns can be quite powerful, and business users without computer science degrees use both of these query languages to retrieve the data that meets their needs. Developers who studied computer science in school usually studied graph algorithms as part of their coursework. An algorithm is a series of steps that, in a graph algorithm, typically checks for the values stored with certain nodes or edges as it traverses the graph in pursuit of some goal. This is usually done with a procedural programming language such as Python or Java. Sparkle offers no way to specify a series of step-by-step -step graph traversal instructions like this, but GraphDB has certain popular graph algorithms built in, and you can call these algorithms from Sparkle queries. We're going to see how these are useful. Here is data for a little social network of nine people. It shows who knows who, and at the end, it uses the owl symmetric property class to say that the fof knows property is symmetric. This means that if Bailey knows Alex, we can infer that Alex knows Bailey. GraphDB makes it easy to construct a visualization of the results of a Sparkle construct query. So I'm going to run a construct query that just retrieves all of our sample data about who knows who. We see the results below, but what we really want is the visualization. Let's say that in this social network, if you want to meet someone you're not directly connected to, you need to be introduced by a common connection, and Jean wants to meet Harper. We can see that they are not directly connected, and Jean is wondering, how can I meet Harper with the smallest number of introductions? Or, to put it in computer science terms, what is the shortest path on this graph from Jean to Harper? This Sparkle query shows how to call GraphDB's built-in service that implements the well-known graph algorithm known as the shortest path algorithm. It's passing the service various parameters, such as the find path value, which shows that we want to run the shortest path algorithm. Other parameters include the source node value of Gene, the destination node value of Harper, and also variables that we'll see used in the results. We'll run this, and the results show that the shortest path has three edges numbered 0, 1, and 2 here with the edge index values. The edge values in the third column show that Gene knows Cassidy, Cassidy knows Dana, and Dana knows Harper. On the visualization, we can see that path. So Gene's first step toward connecting to Harper would be to get in touch with Cassidy. But what if Gene doesn't really like Cassidy and wonders about alternative paths that might be longer but with more people that Gene gets along with? We can list all the alternatives using the all paths algorithm. We can see that the find path value in this new query has the new algorithm to run, all paths. And most of the other parameters are set the same as they were in the query that ran the shortest path algorithm. There is one new one, max path length, which tells the algorithm routine not to list any paths that are longer than four edges. Let's run this query and see what we get. Looking at the first column of the results, we can see that there are three different paths from Gene to Harper, numbered 0, 1, and 2. The shortest path that we saw before from Gene to Cassidy to Dana to Harper is the last path. The other paths are one step longer than the shortest path, and we can see that one of them begins by Gene contacting Emerson, so this way Gene can avoid Cassidy. In this all paths query, let's comment out the max path setting and then run it to see the effect. So now, instead of three paths, we have six numbered 0 through 5. In addition to using this special property to have the all paths algorithm filter out paths with over four steps, 
there are several other ways to customize the behavior of both of these algorithms. There is also another graph traversal algorithm that you can use to identify cycles within a graph. The Graph Path Search GraphDB documentation page lists a wide variety of options. You'll find a link to it on the page with this video. The social network of just nine people that we were querying is obviously just a toy example. You can run these algorithms on knowledge graphs of millions of nodes of data from supply chains, clinical trials, more realistic social media data, and many other domains. Contact your Ontotext representative to find out how GraphDB can help you get more value out of your data.